Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at an HDI 109 3D scanner with a rotary tape. Uh, so today we're going to be scanning this mini ball. Uh, this is a really interesting object because it's small, it's been shot, so it has a lot of deformities to it. And we can see that end result after it's been scanned here on the screen. So let's walk you through the process of how we would scan this part and talk a little bit about the HDI 109, how it works, and what we can use data like this for. So to get started, we simply just press scan here on the screen, and then we'll see a display of images projected across that part, and then the object rotates. So this is a blue structured light 3D scanner. Uh, that is determined because the scanner is projecting out a series of blue and black lines. So those lines are rapidly projected across our part. That creates a 3D image of that particular area. Then we rotate that part uh, however many degrees we choose. Right now we're using 45 degrees. And then repeat that process until we go all the way around our object itself. Uh, so this is a very quick, simple, and accurate solution for scanning uh, smaller objects. The 109 is great for anything uh, the size of this bullet up to the size of a tennis ball. It's a really simple uh, piece of equipment to use, as you can see. So we've gone through and captured all that data. Now the software FlexScan is processing that information. From there, we'll go ahead and take that 3D scan data, combine it all into one solid 3D object. So we take out any noise, we clean it up, make sure it's really nice and accurate. And then we're left with our full 3D file here that we can see. So this is a polygonal mesh. As you can see on some of the areas that have some holes, uh, we do not have any data. So let's talk about how we can process that real quick. We'll just simply take our file, finalize that, and inside of the finalization process, we're going to do some hole filling, which really cleans that object up nicely. So this is a polygonal mesh file. We can turn this into a point cloud, as seen here, and then also that polygonal mesh, uh, which we can see here. Now what that means is series of triangles. It's very similar to if you take a picture with your camera, uh, you get a JPEG, which is a series of pixels. Uh, this is just in 3D, so we're using triangles. And we can take this into a large number of softwares for reverse engineering, uh, inspection, or any other form of digitization. So thank you very much for taking a look at this video on how to use the HDI 109.